right now, um, this is the bunch of good. The first thing we go in is the eel. Uh, right around the stove. It's the uh, onions and garlic. And then the salt, which is calamari or whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's going nice food. This is a seafood um kung pao dish. Okay, the last thing that you go in is the fish roll. Fish roll. High in cholesterol, but indefinitely good. Yep, it's going in. And then now that it's gone in, we have to add a lot of chili. Let's never... Yeah, it's like chili galore. Pot chicken, right? So, galore. Oh yeah, not gonna eat this. Nah, nah, this is nice thing, yeah. Cause it's supposed to be anonymous, but yeah, I don't think you're like, I'm gonna stick a chili stuff for you, okay? Yeah. Kung pao chili is a must. For it to be kung pao by definition, it has to have chili. And fried chili, this kind of chili. Right now, um, we are missing. Here is soy sauce and chikomen, the people of all Japanese, but to copy that way, my grandmother in yours. Then, how is that boring? Okay. That's just a steel in here. A wine here. Mmm, okay. smells nice. But it smells more than nice. Some rice sauce, and after that, we're gonna add uh, some onion as well. Okay. Yeah, we always buy new stuff and cook. And we're gonna generous dollops of oyster sauce, and we're cooking it. Kung Pao style. This is super spicy, yeah. This seafood Kung Pao, and I'm gonna pick it up um, from the frying pan. I hope you don't do that. So that's it. This is Kung Pao seafood with eel, calamari, sweet, and fish roll.